KPI. Is everyone familiar with K key performance indicators? KPI? Somebody want to talk about that? While I drink my water? Sure, one is uh, the outage duration, right? It's very important to some people. Why? Yeah, we're not making money, right? Anybody else have another example of what we measure to, to know whether we are successful? Safety. Safety. Cost. Quality. Discovery. That's a very good one. It's not always a key indicator, but it's a very good one to measure. We're going to talk about how we can plan for that and do more predicting on discovery work because we shouldn't have as much as we do. But it's interesting when people talk about those KPI, there's five, and safety is always usually the number one thing we talk about. But people are focused on two of them, especially the senior managers, the stakeholders, they want to know how much will it cost and how long is it going to take. Is that the most important thing? No. No. Why do you think that's not that important? Because if there's any serious uh, safety incident, for example, take the then probably we can't run the plan. The regulators might shut us down or by standard periods. Exactly. So, so when someone tells you that they are a superstar, okay, Maybe on LinkedIn or maybe on, in the coffee shop. I am a superstar. We came in on time, on budget. So then you know that they are not a superstar. Okay? They are just making the coffee and coffee. You can say that's not impressive. So what is impressive if you're a superstar? Which you want to be, right? Everybody, everybody here has the potential to be a superstar because of three things that you can do that are more important than cost and the duration. So number one, the safety. If you have no incident, lost time, or, or accident, that's impressive to me. You are a superstar. If you have no quality issue like rework or leaks when you start up, you are a superstar. If you get good wrench time, tool time, efficiency from the worker, how much do you think it is in in 10 hour shift in Canada, how much time do you think the worker spends on the tool? Six to seven hours. That's a, that would be a dream. That would be like a <laughs> <laughs> laugh. It's like 3.54. It's terrible. And why do you think that is? Great. Breaks, the lunch, wash up, safety, J, 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 uh, SA, um, looking for tool. Why are they looking for tools? Not for pay. Poor plan. Why are they looking for gasket? Poor plan. Why, do, why are they looking for the torque wrench? They don't have the internet. It wasn't in the plan. There's many times that we if we're going to be a superstar, we need to get that wrench time as high as possible without having the accident and the quality issue. That's our job. So I call that efficiency. So there is efficiency and there's effective. It's two different things. If you're in planning and scheduling and project controls, you are in the efficiency business. Okay? You didn't decide what to work on. Somebody else did that. The scope of work for the project, someone told you what is the scope of work. Now you have to do the work safely, with quality, and efficiency. Agree? What happens if you have a high safety, high quality, high efficiency? What happens to cost and, and it's the best, right? It's the lowest cost and the shortest duration. It's an outcome of how well you do those other three. That's what we want to focus on here, is those three. Because if you want to be 
really good in this business and be an asset in your company, a superstar, those are the three things you need to be thinking.